Hello guys, Vivek here and today in this video I'm going to discuss upon this question which is why starters are required in motors. But before going ahead I would request you all to please subscribe to my channel and if you are liking my videos please do share them because that uh, encourages me to bring more such informative videos for you in the future related to electrical engineering. Okay, so let's just start. So why starters are required in motors? So first I am going to discuss about why starters are required in DC motor. I will not take much time and I will explain this with the help of a very basic uh, example. Let us consider a DC motor which looks like this one. Okay, this is the armature. This is, okay, and it has been connected to this field. Of course, this is a DC series motor you can say, okay and it is connected to plus minus so it is connected to say around 200 volt okay 200 volt and armature resistance which is here uh, this remains of very small value say it is 0.101 ohm or so okay so 0.01 ohm uh, assuming the field resistance is negligible or very small so what hap what is going to happen uh, if I connect uh, this uh, this uh, rated motor which is rated for 200 volt this is normally rated for 200 volt there is no doubt in this so 200 volt motor connected directly to 200 volt supply so what is the problem that is going to happen and there is no such uh, term called starter been here added so what is going to happen see 200 volt connected to this now 0 0.01 ohm uh, is the only resistance so you can understand from here that what is the current flowing through this circuit so it is easy to calculate the current flowing through this circuit is nothing but 200 upon 0 0.01 ohm so what is the current the value of current is I think 1 upon 100 so it is 20 kilo ampere right 20 kilo ampere now you see 20 kilo ampere is a very used current okay and if it is going to flow through the through this motor directly what is going to happen is that it will burn out the conductors of the motor eventually making the motor unusable for future use okay so that's where the starter is required now let me clear this all up go ahead okay so how does a starter works actually so we saw that if a motor is directly connected to the supply of such a huge voltage so the motor will motor windings are going to burn out and that's where the starters are used now starters are something like a rheostat you can see it is like this one okay. and there is a handle over here and it is now connected to the supply I am I'm uh, neglecting the field or you can say the field is here it is a separately excited motor or something okay the field has been supplied externally so this is the motor and it is connected to 200 volt now let us see what is going to happen 200 volt so now with uh, initially there was only this RA as 0 0.01 ohm which is the armature resistance now we have an additional resistance over here we can say that this is capital R so when the motor is going to start the this R and this 0 0.01 ohm will add up so now the current which is going to flow is 200 during start 200 upon 0 0.01 plus this R so as as the as this denominator has increased the the whole fraction which is going to be there will decrease so now this can be easily reduced because of this introduction of R the starting current through the motor reduces and hence it uh, ensures a safe operation of this motor okay so this is where the starter 
is usable. This is what called a starter. So what is the use of a starter? The starter has one basic use, whether it be AC motor or a DC motor, that it ensures a safe current flowing through the motor, okay, with during the start. So this is the one of the most important fact about starters. The second thing that a starter has to do is that it has to ensure a safe operation when the motor is going to work again after this uh, this period so these two basic things are uh, needed and that's why starter is re required now many of you ask this question that uh, why during only starting that we need this resistance so that can be understood with this equation that v is equal to e plus ir this is the basic equation of a dc motor working okay ia ra RA is the armature of resistance, IA is the armature current flowing, okay, this is the IA current that is flowing through the circuit and uh, this is RA, RA means the armature of resistance, E is the back EMF, back EMF is nothing but uh, it is generated because of the motion of the motor, as the motor begins to rotate there is a voltage of uh, which flows in opposite direction to the supply voltage, okay, from the motor and this is called back EMF, okay and uh, this is the supply voltage so v equals to e plus iara now during starting as the speed is zero as the speed is zero you can speed is denoted by n so as the speed is zero the back emf remains zero so v equals to e plus iara and hence ia is dependent only on these two variables that is v by ra and that's why we need to add additional resistance to this ra which i have added here r okay this is required to add up here and this reduces the starting current once the motor has started successfully and it is rotating at a steady speed so there is a value of n because of this there is a value of this e which is not zero now okay so this e comes over here and that's why the value the new equation of i a that is the armature current is v minus e by r a v minus e by r a so now we have this equation so now the controlling factor is this e with the increase of e with the increase of speed the e increases and hence the armature current which is there decreases okay so there is no use of add uh, keeping the resistance and that's why it it is cut out and if we put this resistance uh, intact in series so it is not going to heat up and there will be there will be unwanted heat loss and that's why starter is cut out Okay, so let's just move to AC motors. So now, why starters are required in AC motors? We just saw in the case of DC motors, a starter is required to reduce the starting current. In the same manner, in AC motors, starters are required to reduce the starting current only. During start, a uh, AC motor behaves like a short circuited transformer. We take the example of a short circuit transformer because a uh, transformer and an AC motor is quite related theoretically and that's why the example is taken so it behaves like a short circuited transformer and because of this uh, this kind of behavior during start the motor takes around six to seven times of the full load current okay six to seven times of full load current full load so six to seven times of full load current is quite high for any AC motor. It is not going to burn out the conductors of the motor or, burn or winding of the motor, but surely there will be huge amount of heat loss, which is I square R loss, which is directly related to this current. So if uh, it is six to seven times, the heat will be around 36 to 49 times, you can understand from this equation and there will be a heat loss a huge amount of heat loss in the motor apart from that what uh, it is going to do is that such a huge amount of current if dragged out from this uh, phases consider this three phases there and a uh, motor is connected to these three phases so if during start this motor is going to take six to seven times of full load current there will be huge amount of voltage drop in the line and any other load that is connected to this lines any other load that is connected here will behave abnormally okay because of such a voltage drop in the line and that's why a starter is required which reduces the voltage across the motor hence giving a good start for the motor avoiding a huge amount of current being drawn from the supply 
and once the motor starts successfully once it be working in the steady state this starter backs in normal position and hence it it is now reusable for the next operation of the same motor okay so we just saw that either it be ac motor or it be dc motor the starter is required to reduce the starting current i'm not discussing about what kind of starting mechanisms are used for dc or ac motor for that you can google it up or i may upload uh, a video upon the same if i get a good response on this video okay so this is all about the starters thanks for watching so i hope that you have liked my video and if you have liked this video please subscribe to my channel in order to get more such informative videos on electrical engineering future and if you have liked this video please go through my last videos and please do share them because that encourages me to bring more such informative videos for you so and also do check out my blog which i have rest, uh, started recently the electrical engineer.blogspot.com the link is also in the description so you can go there and i have really added some of the very informative posts on electrical engineering so please do support my channel and my blog and i promise that i will bring more such informative videos and more such in informative posts in the future thanks for watching this is vivek chauve signing off thank you